Uh, hi there, everybody. Uh, we're back for um, lesson number four uh, using Open Studio and Honeybee. And this one, I think, will be a little bit simpler. Um, we're just going to talk about the using the fan component. Okay. So, uh, like I mentioned last time, um, you know, passive first, active second. Um, <coughs> but we're getting to the point where excuse me, we need to add some type of efficient fan uh, to the system. So um, in order to do that, um, again, you know, same, same lecture here, um, same group of components that I had gone through in the earlier lectures, and um, the, uh, the fan component is, uh, is right here. And uh, I think by now, um, I've kind of beaten to death the idea that the, um, the HVAC system list that uh, comes from this drop-down list here um, is connected to a number of different components and you know you'll get a warning um, if uh, I'm just going to disconnect this if um, you know you 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 mix and match the wrong things so um, the fan component is right here um, and right now, um, you know, you can either choose zero for constant volume or one for variable volume. If I were to change this to zero, uh, you'll see that, you know, the downstream component will say, hey, that's the wrong type of component. This is expecting a variable volume fan. Um, you know, to get started with this component, it's pretty simple. Um, the component that you want is right here. Um, and you just plop it onto the page. You'll see it, it comes out with a warning on it, um, which basically is telling you, you know, please specify a fan type, and it will also tell you, please specify a fan name. Once you do those two things, once you do those two things, though, you're pretty much um, good to go. Um, but there's some nuances that um, you're going to want to think about, which I'll try and talk about here from, you know, an energy modeling and a lead perspective, and some of the things that I've kind of run across. So the first thing is that um, the um, in Open Studio, <coughs> and this is true of a lot of energy modeling tools actually, when you say you're going to specify a fan and you're going to attach it to an air handler, uh, you know. So going back to um, uh, this diagram here, we're talking about this fan that's blowing across the coil, you know, whether it's a DX system or not. Um, pretty much you're only specifying one fan. And you know that in a real system, a lot of times there will be a supply fan and there will be a return fan. And there might even be some exhaust fans laying around there. That's a little bit more of an advanced topic. But the point is, is that when you say fan, you a lot of times you mean both supply and return. Um, so um, I'm trying to think about what's the best way to describe this, but you know, if you're doing a typical lead office building and it's not too fancy, you know, it doesn't have a lot of extra filtration or uh, heat recovery, uh, a lot of times that fan will have to blow against, um, you know, some pressure in the system. There will be pressure in the ductwork. There will be pressure um, in the, um, the, the filters, um, you know, and all those things because the fan obviously it has to do some work. Um, in in the states, in stateside, um, we typically measure that pressure in something called inches of water. And just as a rule of thumb, um, the inches of water uh, that um, an entire system will see, both the supply and return, will be somewhere around four and a half to five inches of water. And um, the entry that we use for our um, fan component is actually in Pascal's. And so I know that I struggle a lot with um, with um, UK units, <laughs> excuse me, UK units, um, SI units. And so the conversion from inches of water to um, Pascal's is 249.08. Uh, so I can just multiply the two. And you can see here that the resulting um, Pascal's is 1245. And um, I believe that I might mention here, 
Oh, I don't actually have it here, but we can look here and see what the, the honeybee default actually is also the um, energy plus default if nothing is used. And you can see here that the honeybee default, what does it say? For variable volume fans, it says that the pressure rise is 892 pascals. So, you know, it's, that's about, this looks like it's about, oh, gee, almost 50% higher than that value. Um, so, you know, if you're doing, if you're trying to do this for lead modeling <coughs> and you, you are an engineer, don't use the defaults. Um, I would say try and figure out what your pressure drop is through your system, convert it to Pascal's, and uh, go ahead and plug that in or pressurize here. Ah, it's telling me that this is a that this is a string. So let me just try plugging it in from here instead. That's better. Um, let me get rid of that. Another way um, I like to do things sometimes is I like to think of things, and I know engineers do this too, is you might think of things in terms of watts per CFM. Again, this is sort of for um, uh, you know, more of an American uh, mindset, but you could do the same thing. You could do watts per liters per second. And essentially what I try and do is, um, you know, many people use these rules of thumb to start. And I use some, some uh, grasshopper um, logic here um, using the fan power equation. And you, people might be familiar with some of these to work out um, the, the, the total static pressure, which in this case, for the system that I specified one watt per CFM um, at the um, fan efficiency and motor efficiency that I'm putting into my components, that works out to be 4.55 inches. So if I wanted to, I could plug this value into here. And um, you know, instead of being uh, 1,250 CFM, uh, now that's uh, 1,130 degrees. So that's just a, a couple little tricks that I like to use for the pressure. Um, um, you know, the motor efficiency and the um, fan efficiency, again, you can kind of look at the um, the uh, honeybee defaults here. And they're not too bad. Fan efficiency of 60%, motor efficiency of 82.5% as a default. Um, the motor efficiency is a little low. The fan efficiency, though, just to just so you're aware, for the engineers, the fan efficiency includes um, all mechanical losses, so not just the loss of the blades of the fan, but also you know shafts and that sort of thing. Um, one final note that I'll make is that um, the um, <clears throat> because you're only specifying a single fan, if you want to really be picky, you know you're basically plugging in enough power here to power both the supply fan and the return fan, but it all ends up in open studio right here, um, blowing uh, across the coil, you know, um, or, you know, it can be a, a draw through, so it can be on this side so the coil doesn't see the heat. But as you know, you know, the fan is going to add heat to the system. So if you want to be fair and you, <coughs> and you want to take some of that heat out, you can. I mean, I think that that's a little bit a little bit of an esoteric exercise. I usually don't use that value. Um, a couple other things to mention. If uh, you set the fan type to zero, or in other words, constant volume, and you have any values plugged in for a fan power coefficient, those are just going to be ignored. Um, as a lot of these, as, as I've said for a lot of these components, we don't really do a lot of error checking here right now, so it might be possible for you to put in a motor efficiency of greater than one. Um, we're not really checking to make sure that you're not putting something funny in there. Um, same goes for all these components. So you could, there's no balance checking right now. So you could put in a really big pressure rise um, or a really weird fan efficiency, and it would still run. Um, so 
we're, uh, we're, we're trying to think of a way to do that a little better, but that's essentially how it works. Um, any system <clears throat> that needs a uh, fan uh, should have one specified. Um, after you've specified your fan parameters, just uh, all you've got to do is just plug it in here to your fan detail. And um, so let me just do that again. And uh, that's pretty much it. There that goes. Um, so just to summarize, everything that you need to know, um, you, you can model both constant and variable volume fans from the same component. Um, you're only going to model the supply fan. Um, I shouldn't say all units are in meters. All, all units are in uh, are in uh, SI. Um, so uh, you know, Pascal's uh, is, is pretty much going to be the way you do it. And then the, the fan efficiency, what we call the fan efficiency, is, is, the, is the impeller losses plus all mechanical efficiencies. Um, well, uh, that's, that's it for now, so good luck and uh, happy modeling.